Hello, I'm Jeremy Suster with Custom Picture Framer Glenside, and I've been asked by some Facebook uh, blog folks uh, in regard to framing uh, how to do Thermoplast R lining of brittle documents. So here's a brittle document. This is a map of Sweden and Norway. You can see it's got some tears, some losses. Uh, some pieces that are about to be losses, so we want to rectify that. Things we'll need uh, film class R. I always keep a data sheet with the product in a tube with some guidelines. We will need a matte board that is a contrasting color to the document. I will put the document face down on that board and this is some cheap polystyrene from uh, a ready-made frame so that goes right on top of that I talked to the document here's the film class R this has an adhesive side and a non-adhesive side the adhesive side goes down onto the polystyrene sheet. Uh, this happens to uh, fit the width of the piece nicely. So if I needed to piece this together, you would just overlap it about a quarter of an inch tack with a 250 degree tacking iron to mend it together to make a larger piece. In this case, uh, I'm just going to cut it a little bit big. And grab a couple of weights. I'm going to position this along an edge to limit the cutting I need to do. And this one's kind of not totally square. So I'm actually going to end up doing more cutting than I thought I would. Just line it up, leave excess, put some weights down. Then with a sharp exacto knife, I cut about an eighth of an inch away inside of the edge of the document, all the way around. We've got some straight lines. Of course, use a ruler, pull back ruler, pull it down. And I always cut on the outside of my ruler because if you make a mistake you're cutting a part that you don't need anyway. Top bottom. And along this side since it's a curve for some reason I'm just going to go along the line of the curve. Old documents can have peculiar attributes such as this. So there's my perimeter basically set for a few losses. So I'm actually going to cut those in. And I just get rid of the little flex. I throw it right on the floor. Clean it up later. You don't want it on your work surface. So I'm cutting back all the little losses. So you won't see the film fast R at the, uh, when it's finished. And I got one more up here. So now the tissue is prepared. There's a little loss here. Um, but for the sake of holding it together, I'm going to leave that. There's a little bit of shine to the adhesive the thermoplast, but it's not that noticeable. Once you've got it cut as you like, remove the polystyrene sheet. And pick it up. 
pick up the film class that you just cut, lay it onto the document. Carefully position it in the same way you had it positioned on the polystyrene. Good. Put a weight on it. Now, with, with this process, you need to know uh, that your document is uh, can withstand heat of 230 degrees. So always pre-test. It works great with um, lith lithography, uh, chromolithos, offset lithos. Uh, things you have to watch out for are um, digital output some photographs, glossiness, originals like acrylics uh, don't take well to this. So it's just documents, news, newspapers, old documents, uh, maps such as this. But always test before you go ahead with this. So I need to tack this on. And I'm just going to tack in one place. Don't double tack because your paper will ripple under heat. You'll have folds. Uh, it won't be pretty. My tacking iron set for 250. This takes a lot of heat, so I'm going to place my tacking iron on right in the middle with a release paper. Let it sit for 10 or 15 seconds. Gentle pressure. And then pull the heat out. And then check to make sure it is tacked. tacked well enough. So then it goes into a uh, 230 degree vacuum press, uh, typically five to seven minutes. So I'll put it in and uh, show you the finished product. Here's the freshly lined mat. You see the back it's much more stable, ready to hinge, however you prefer, float mount, over mat, etc. So, Filmoplastar saves the day again.